So for um, number 13, we're given this clock, and then it asks us, what is the sum V of the 12 vectors that go from the center of the clock um, to the hours 1, 2, 3, etc., until 12? Well, if we think about it, this vector, it cancels out with the other vector, right? Because they're pulling in opposite directions. Um, same thing here. This vector is pulling 30 degrees upwards, and this other vector is pulling 30 degrees downwards. Um, we're going to have, let me do different colors, we're going to have this vector that pulls 60 degrees upwards, and then this vector that pulls 60 degrees downwards. We're going to have um, this vector that pulls uh, 120 degrees, and then this one as well. And then we're going to have um, this one that cancels out with that one because they're going in opposite directions. And lastly, you're going to have this vector going up, canceling with the vector going down. So all of these vectors are being canceled, right? So the resultant here is just going to be the zero vector. So we're going to say the the zero vector is the resultant. Um, and then it's asking us, what if the two o'clock vector were removed? So let's go ahead and remove the two o'clock vector. What happens? Well, if the two o'clock vector were removed, all the other vectors still cancel out. However, there's nothing to cancel out this other green arrow, right? And this green arrow um, is the eight o'clock vector. So uh, why do the 11 remaining vectors add to eight? And then we can say, because there's nothing to cancel out that eight vector, right? So I won't write this down, just leave it to you guys to write it the way that you want. We can say that all the other vectors add to zero except the eight vector. Um, and then it's asking us, what are the components of the two o'clock vector um, in, ter in terms of the cosine and the sine? So that, let me erase all this, that two o'clock vector, um, it's like we're having 90 degrees here, and then we're dividing into threes, right? So that two o'clock is actually, uh, this is 30 degrees. So it is asking us uh, what the components are in terms of x, and in terms of y, and we know that the the x is just the cosine, right? And so because the length is 1, our x is going to be, um, so cosine, x is going to be cosine of 30 degrees, which is uh, about 0 0.86, and our y is going to be um, sine of 30 degrees, which is about, which is exactly 1 half, yeah. And that is it for number 13.